guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my full routine in depth of how I use cream products, highlight, contour, foundation, concealer, blush, highlighter, the whole shebang. Last week I post a quick reel on my Instagram showing you guys quickly how I do that, but I received a ton of messages from a bunch of you requesting a more in depth explanation of how and why and what I'm using. So today I'm going to be going over all of that. I have already moisturized and primed my skin, so I'm prepped and ready to go. I'll post what I use down below in the description box if you guys are interested in that. So the next thing we're gonna do is add our foundation, the color that's closest to our skin tone, as a base to work off of. So for my foundation and highlight, which will also act as a concealer because it's going to be fuller coverage. I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Sticks and I'm going to apply this in any problem areas. So if I have any breakouts as well as the T-zone, I'm gonna apply this right at the bottom and center of my chin, the center of my forehead. And I'm not bringing it all the way up because we are going to be adding the contour. So just right in the center here, closer down to the brow. Then down the center of the bridge of my nose. I love the shape of these because it has that triangular shape. I think it's the perfect size, so it helps get those smaller areas of the face with precision. And also the straight line is super helpful for when you want to be precise, especially around like the nose contouring area. So using the side of the product this time, just a thin line down the bridge. And right at the tip, you're just going to do a small little circle or triangle, really whatever kind of shape you want to make just a little boop right at the tip there you can see I left a space here again we will be adding contour there then my under eye I'm taking this directly under the eye again using that triangular shape super beneficial it's such a creamy product too you just kind of like touch the skin and you can see it melts it's like butter I love it so right here in the inner corner really targeting that darker inner corner of the eye as well as the shadowy area here and then the outer corner of my eye upward up and outward and you can move the triangular shape to better fit the areas you're working with i'm also going to place this underneath my nose i get really red right there and around the outer corner of my mouth just to help brighten that a little bit and then last place is right underneath the cheekbone here so i'm just going to draw like a little line on each side so now taking the highlight, this is going to be a few shades lighter than my skin tone. That way it's gonna help lighten and brighten. Pushing those areas forward, outward, you want them to be more prominent. I'm going to follow pretty much the same areas, just using a little bit less over top. You can do your whole foundation routine first if you wanna do foundation all over or just spot conceal and then jump right into the highlight. That's perfectly fine. This is just what I've been doing recently and I recommend giving a try. There's a bunch of different techniques and ways you can achieve the same result. So really just trial and error, figure out what works for you. But this is what I've been loving to do and what I think gives a very natural overall finish. To my skin so now we're gonna go in with the contour I'm not gonna blend this out yet I'm gonna wait until every product is applied and then blend out so now we're just gonna move on to the next product application for that I'm going to be using the elf putty bronzer I'll post all the exact shades also if you're interested down below with the product itself but this has quickly become a new favorite of mine absolutely love the consistency of it the texture just blends out so easily it's super pigmented very easy to work with so because this is not in an applicator itself like it's not a stick form you're gonna need a brush to apply this onto the skin. I'm gonna use two different brushes for this. For the nose application, I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm dipping it right into the product. And to begin the nose contour, I'm going to bring it in from the inner corner of the eye here where the brow is, like right where that indent begins. And just following that right down the side along the edge of that line I did right down the center. You can kind of see the application of it here goes more into the socket so it's going to be wider up at the top here and a bit more narrow the farther down you get to the edge where that little empty space is then same thing to the other side right from that inner corner of the eyebrow there down along the side and you can just kind of blend it outward underneath the brow there so it's not so like stop and go more soft blend it out now across the tip so this is really important to get that small bridge but also that really like pinched tip so almost like creating a circle around the highlight there and then underneath so this whole piece here I'm gonna darken and shade like the underneath the belly 
of the nose. Now, if your nose is not symmetrical like mine, mine indents more on this side than this side. So I am a bit heavier handed on this side and lighter on this side because I already get more of a shadow casted here. I need this side to be indented more. So I do apply a bit more on this side compared to that side. But if you're symmetrical, then yay you. <laughs> just follow the same thing on both sides. Then just taking that extra product that's on the brush, I'm placing that underneath my bottom lip here, but it creates just a little bit of a shadow, kind of creating more of an illusion of a bigger pout. Now switching brushes. I'm gonna be using more of a shader brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush, but just a smaller brush. I'm going to do the contour on my cheekbones. So you can really see when I turn to the side, once the light hits my face, the natural shading that happens. So you can see the contour is starting to show itself here because the light is reflecting and bouncing off the lighter areas that I've applied product. So it's pushing those lighter areas forward and creating that shadow on the contour area. So that really helps me find my placement. Some people naturally have a more sunken in face and more prominent cheekbones. So it's gonna be easier for some than others to find theirs, but you don't need like fancy lighting. You can do this really like in your bathroom or at a window, anywhere there's light. And kind of just casting your face in the mirror, you can see where the shadowing begins. So right at the hairline, I'm gonna pull that forward. And I am doing it sort of like a downward angle to follow the same shape we apply here, which is kind of like a diagonal line from the top of my ear here to the corner of my lips and the bottom of my lips. So down this way and bringing that product in. I'm only bringing it to about the edge of my brow. I'm not bringing it all the way in. And then just have a lighter hand to blend that if needed. You don't want it to be like a stark stop and go. So same thing to the other side. Again, keeping that diagonal application because you want to lift and slender the face. So applying the product more at an angle like this, up and outward is going to help bring up and in the overall shape and appearance of the face. Now I'm gonna follow my jawline. So right where your natural jawline is, you should easily be able to feel that, find that, see that. You're just gonna lightly follow that blending downward. giving the appearance of a very strong, slender jawline and chin, AKA concealing my double chin. <laughs> and then the last place we're going to apply this is along the hairline on the forehead area. So I'm just going to place that close to the hairline, really on the hairline and lightly downward. So that's for the highlight and the contour. It's also going to help conceal and color correct the tone of my skin. Then before we blend, I'm going to add my blush. So I'm also going to be placing this cream blush on with my brush. You can apply it directly because it is in that like tube style applicator, but to get a better precision, I'm just dunking my brush in the product. And my blush is going to go right on top of my contour meeting up with that highlight we applied there under the eye. So right on top of the cheekbone itself. And up and outward. You also want to stop the application at the corner of the eye, corner of the brow, this general area to keep that up and slender overall look. So now I have all the products in the placement I want. I'm going to now take a damp beauty blender and just blend all of this out. So I'm going to start down here, the bottom of my face. I don't know why, honestly, I just do. And you're going to be dabbing continuously, like small, short, quick, up and outward again. And I feel like when I use this, I do kind of like roll as I go. So I've done like a big space. I'm just gonna kind of twist this a little bit as I continue to blend the rest of the product. Like look how seamless that blends together. I love this technique and these products. You're getting that definition, but also such a dewy, luminous glow to the skin. So pretty. 
If you do have trouble getting your product to blend, especially like around the nose folds, I feel like sometimes I see product isn't getting in those creases, you can just take a small brush and just help it along a little bit because the beauty blender shape isn't ideal all the time for like tight crevice areas. So just using a plain, empty, kind of fluffy brush, I'm just going to dab that product. You wanna continue dabbing as you have been rather than like really blending and wiping to continue that same application texture, but it also helps to really conceal the pores or fine lines by really getting that product into those areas rather than just kind of like sweeping over top. You can do this under eye too if you feel you need to, if you have accentuated lines under there, if you want to soften the product, just take that brush, same thing, just bouncing and then take the beauty blender again, just lightly over top. Make sure you really work that product, especially around the hairline, so it really blends in. This technique can work for any skin type, any age. I will say I feel it works the best on drier, more mature skin that wants that super dewy, luminous, glowing finish. If you are super oily, you're gonna wanna typically use more powder products, mattifying products, or at least have a powder over top each cream product to help that set and sit with your skin type. So with everything blended out, you should have something like this. To go a step further, I'm going to add my luminizer or highlighter. For that, I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Highlighter. It's the same formula and style as the foundation. So for this, I'm going to place this right on top of the cheekbone and you can follow that same kind of technique by moving your face, seeing where the light bounces off. That's where this guy is going to go. So you can see the light bounces and reflects here, right on the top of my cheekbone. And the reason I wait to apply this after blending everything out is because I want the placement to be very direct. I don't want shimmer all over. So I really wanna be able to control where the placement is of this product. So I'm gonna just kinda of like dab at the corner of my eye on top of the cheekbone and kinda of do like a little swoop upward. And then I'm just gonna take my finger to blend this. Then the bottom center of my chin, like directly at the bottom, just going to apply a little bit underneath my nose here to the cupid's bow or top, like kind of M shape of the lip, right in the center. My brow bone. And then the bridge and tip of my nose. So again, using the side of this product to be very straight and center, you're gonna do a super thin line down the bridge and tip. You can again blend this with your finger or a smaller brush if you want more precision. But that's going to help give that added oomph to the highlight to really bounce off that light and to capture that glow. Now back to what I said before about getting rid of the excess shine. This is going to be super beneficial to anyone who gets oily throughout the day. If you are oily all over, I recommend applying translucent powder with a big ass fluffy brush like this. Something with loose bristles that's very large and just lightly dusting or dabbing all over. If you are more combo or drier skin, you're gonna wanna follow my placement. So today I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. I have a bunch of favorites that I would say I kinda like rotate through, so I'll also list those down below. But for today, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender again and just place it right into the product using the top of the teardrop shape, like the pointed side. And I'm going to press this into the skin in the areas that I get shine later throughout the day or that I find would crease or move on me if I didn't use this. So for me, that's gonna be my T-zone and under eye. Right on the chin, the center of my forehead. You might get a little fallout, that's okay. And in between the brow. Then directly on the under eye. And then the sides of my nose coming down from that under eye area. We're just gonna take it from the inner corner of the brow and create a straight line down the side. Just following directly up underneath the contour. I'm also going to just apply a little bit under my contour here to help keep that light and bright, keep that definition where I applied that contour. I also get a little like upper lip sweat, so I'm gonna place that just a little bit under my nose. 
right on the top lip area. And then same thing on the other side. Then taking either a fluffy brush or your beauty blender, just kind of beat <laughs> the excess. It's gonna help soften any lines too that may have not been softened enough while blending while also setting all the product and helping keep excess shine at bay. So you should end up with something sort of like this. You can follow the same placement technique and application using all powder products as well, if you'd rather than using cream or liquids. It's the same idea, just different products that you may find work better with your skin. But I just absolutely love like how airbrushed, flawless, and youthful this makes my skin look this application technique, but also the products that I used. You can see it gives the definition of my cheekbones, gives a more defined, slender face, color corrects to help hide any imperfections, while also adding that nice, luminous glow in the areas that I want to really stand out. Chef's kiss. So I'm gonna quickly add the rest of my products that I would normally, for my brows, I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow and just brushing along the natural hairline to help fill in, volumize, and define the shape, size, and color of my brows. Naturally, they're like super light. They kind of grow crazy. They're definitely not identical. I have a scar in one of them. And I really like a thicker, fuller style brow. The brush size is perfect. Then my mascara, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite. This is the Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. I'm just gonna quickly apply that on the top and bottom lashes. Look how amazing that is. Like it just really brings out my lashes that you really can't see like naturally because they are naturally blonde. So much volume, length, definition, while also darkening because it is a true black. I just love this mascara. So I'm gonna do the other eye really quick too. With no hesitation, when someone asks me what my favorite mascara is, I blurred this out. It's just my absolute favorite. If you've followed me for a while now, you already know that. Then to finish the makeup off, I'm just gonna add a light lip liner just to really help clean up and define my lips. And this is the Sephora Lip Liner in Cute Caramel. Check out the description box for more information on all products mentioned and discount codes. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on Instagram so you never miss a new day-to-day -day update. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.